Hey, what's up folks, it's Rojo, and welcome to a new type of Let's Play series. We're going to be playing some City Skylines, it's a game that came out uh, a couple days ago here, and uh, I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. I've actually had so much fun that I uh, went ahead and made my own little map. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to make a new game, and... Uh, Select my map here. You can see there's a, a few different ones, but uh, this one is mine. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to play not necessarily optimally. Um, you know, a lot of people are probably focused on making uh, the most efficient city possible and all that kind of good stuff. We're not going to worry too much about that. Um, that'll cause problems later on, of course. Uh, but, you know, it's it's all in good fun. I'm not uh, entirely sure how long this Let's Play will be. It may only be a few videos, but I figured uh, we'd play a little bit and check it out. So this is the map that I made. Uh, you can't quite see all of it. And by the way, uh, if you want to download this map, it's, uh, it's in the workshop. You can grab it and uh, there will be a link in the description for, uh, for you to be able to do that. But uh, basically, this map uh, gives us the opportunity to uh, make some interesting choices. I'm going to probably be going sort of toward this direction, uh, to the north here. And uh, there's a big plateau up there. You can't really see it because the view is uh, locked to this square, which is kind of annoying in my opinion. I, uh, I really wish that that wasn't the case, but we're going to go ahead and get started here. So, as uh, in many maps, we have uh, our sort of double highway here. We're going to uh, have to build one type of road uh, to get started. I will be trying to make use of uh, some hotkeys that I've set up here. So uh, I won't be clicking around too terribly much, at least not as, ma as much as maybe uh, some other people are at the moment. But we'll just go ahead and build a road like that. And uh, what this allows us to do is, I'm going to just pause real quick, is uh, we can set up uh, different types of zoning. We have uh, residential, uh, commercial, and industrial. And uh, we can zone uh, with some interesting set of tools. We've got a few here. One is a brush. We can just left click like that. And uh, people will be able to move into that area. We can also right click to uh, dezone areas. We've also got a sort of a click and drag type tool here. And uh, also a, uh, a bucket tool to just straight up like fill up any connected uh, areas. We'll go ahead and uh, just bulldoze this actually. We get a little bit of a refund for that because we don't want to make a... Uh, a two-lane road like that. We just need to make one to sort of get started here and unlock some of the uh, buildings that we're going to be required to make here. Now we got some choices. We can either go with wind power. So it looks like a good area for some wind. Or we can go with coal power. It's a little bit more expensive right up front. Um, and it requires certain types of fuel, but uh, it creates quite a lot of power by itself. I think... Uh, We'll probably do a little bit of wind power on this one. Um, but what we got to do first here is I think we will make... Uh, these are going to go straight into uh, two lane roads. I'm sort of going to be making a... Um, uh, how do I want to call it? A uh, Let's go ahead and select the freeform road tool here so we can make some nice curves and stuff. Uh, we're going to make a sort of rural style uh, village and uh, that will, uh, I think, be pretty interesting. Traffic will probably be a bit of an issue for us at some point, um, as well as some other things. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, bring that back out here. We'll go ahead and uh, yeah, maybe curve this around, something like that. And... Uh, Maybe actually a little bit farther. Let's uh, let's have it uh, have our, our village sort of start maybe over by uh, the water over here. And uh, what we can do is uh, we also put in a roundabout. Uh, roundabouts, if you're not familiar, are actually pretty pretty nice uh, constructs for keeping traffic flow manageable. I think uh, maybe a roundabout over here seems fine. And, uh, yeah, the way a roundabout works, if you've never driven in one, is you yield on the way in, and then you have the right-of-way while you're in it, and just keep going around and around until you can get out at the uh, 
exit that you want. Shouldn't be any stoplights in a proper roundabout if you're in a roundabout with stoplights. And I would argue that's a poorly designed roundabout. But you know what? I'm not a civil, a civil engineer. Maybe there's a uh, a case for that. I don't know. Oops, keep on hitting the wrong button there. Um, so I'm thinking uh, the outbound traffic will go uh, through here. Thinking uh, maybe we'll just do something like that. And then we'll just come over here again and connect that up. And uh, we'll do something similar over here. So let's uh, maybe do something like this right along the water. And uh, then we can connect this up just like so. Maybe uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now that we have uh, our some basic roads set up, we can start to think about uh, zoning a little bit of our city here. So obviously we're going to need people to move in, right? They need places to live. That's what residential zoning is for. Now I think uh, it seems plausible that maybe we would want people to be on the coast. It seems like a good place that maybe uh, you would uh, want to build a house, some nice land value going on there. And uh, actually build a little bit more residential over this way. That should be fine. I think uh, as far as the roundabout goes, we're going to zone up the middle of this. This is going to be commercial, some nice shops and stuff. And uh, out on, uh, I think, uh, let's let's build a little bit more in the way of roads here and uh, make some industrial coming out this way because people need a place to work. They can work in the... Um, in the commercial areas, but really industrial is where it's at. You want to try to keep your industrial away from the uh, the residential, though, because people don't particularly like pollution uh, of the uh, Mother Nature type or the noise type, because noise pollution is also a thing in this game. So something to keep in mind. And let's see, I think we'll just do some more residences right on the outside here. I do have the game paused, so nothing's really happening at the moment. Now, we do have to worry about some water. We've got a couple options here. Uh, we can pump water from here, or we can pump water from here. We also need a place to dump water. So my thought is I am going to pump water uh, from here. And actually, you can see these, uh, these arrows indicate the flow of the current. That's important uh, to consider because if you're pumping water downstream from where you're dumping your water, you're going to find uh, your people are getting sick from contaminated water pretty quickly. It's important to keep in mind. Now, this lake is pretty far away. It's going to cost us a bit to uh, to build all the way out here because we have to run a pipe from here all the way over to our actual uh, city here. And I'm not probably not doing this quite as efficiently as I could be, but uh, it's okay. We don't need to worry about it too terribly much. Just pull that out like there, maybe. And uh, finish this up like so. That seems fine. And uh, we're going to need a drain over here. So let's, uh, let's put our drain as far out as we can go. We'll put it right, right about there. And uh, we'll hook that up to our pipeline like so. Okay, so people should have water. Uh, finally, we're going to need to deal with the, our electricity situation. Now, I think uh, we do have a lot of good opportunities here. Um, but I'm thinking we'll get, we're going to see the, the wind turbine creates uh, a lot of noise pollution. So we're going to actually locate our power out this way, I think. Uh, we're going to build probably uh, three of these to start with. And, uh, that's probably a little overkill, but, uh, it's okay. Let me just go ahead and, uh, connect up our, uh, power lines. We'll, we'll start them going, uh, actually, we're going to have to hook it up over here. So we'll just hook it up like that and then we'll build out as necessary. The power lines will actually block, uh, zoned areas from building. So we want to bulldoze them eventually. This blue area is sort of a a zone of influence for electricity. So as long as the blue area connects up, 
uh, that area is going to get powered. So that's important to consider while you're, uh, you know, planning out your city design and all that good stuff. But uh, at this point, uh, you can actually you know, see uh, I made a rail railway here. All the maps have railways, but it, mine kind of snakes up through the uh, the plateaus here a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think we're good to uh, start things off here. So let's go ahead and we'll up the speed and watch our city grow a little bit. You can see we've got our highway here. Got some people coming by. There we go. All right. You can actually click on all of these to uh, see what people are doing. You can actually rename stuff if you choose. Okay, so now that we have a, a few people in our city, we want to make sure that everybody's got some, some power. So we'll go ahead and uh, just connect this up like that for now. And uh, I think that'll do it. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. You can see we're also losing quite a bit of money here. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Open up our budget panel. We're just going to drop down our uh, our budget a little bit while we're getting started here. It'll save us a small amount of money, not much. And then we'll raise that sort of as needed. All right. looks like, uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of commercial going now. You can see down here, this is the demand for certain types of zoning. Um, so we still have quite a bit of residential demand. Now we're getting the industrial demand. Yep, these guys could use some power, so let's go ahead and uh, hook this up like that. And uh, let it continue. Yeah, there we go. So now people have a place to work. Now I think what might be kind of interesting is uh, I want to make use of some dirt roads. We uh, you, you may or may not see other people using dirt roads. I don't know. It uh, really depends on the, the, the person who's playing the game, I guess. But uh, since we're building kind of a rural type village here. Seems reasonable that maybe we would have a, a few dirt roads. So we'll build one out like that and then uh, build one maybe out like that a little bit. And uh, let's see if we can maybe make something interesting here. That's not quite going to work, is it? Maybe if we start out like this, yeah. There we go. And I. Uh, we could connect these up, I guess. There's no harm in doing that. So now we got kind of like a nice dirt road area. And uh, as you can see, our money problems are largely uh, addressed at this point. It looks like people want some more commercial, so I'm thinking uh, we'll go ahead and zone a little bit more commercial uh, right here on the outside of the uh, the roundabout. And I think... We're going to make all this on the inside. This is all going to be uh, residential. Later on, we'll, we'll unlock high density residential, which we probably won't use too much of. We'll see, though. Yeah, it looks like things are filling in quite nicely for us. we got a growing population. And we're actually about to hit a milestone, I think. Pretty shortly, anyway. What kind of businesses are we uh, getting in here? The Quiet Corner Shop. The General Store. Yeah, every town needs one of those, of course. You can rename districts and stuff. Let's uh, pause this for a second. Let me just... Uh... Ah, okay, we need 400 people. We're almost there. Ooh, we actually need to deal with a little bit of a water situation here as well. Let's go ahead and make sure those guys are taken care of. Hey, okay, so now we're a little hamlet. That's uh, one of the milestones that we'll be getting. As you can see, uh, there's more and more. And as you get more milestones, you unlock more stuff. Important to know. So right now we can manipulate taxes and loans. And uh, we can do garbage, healthcare, and education. These are all important things. So I'm thinking what we want to do here is... Uh, we'll go ahead and pause... Every uh, every town needs a landfill, right? I mean, you gotta you gotta get your garbage taken care of one way or the other. So, question is, where do you want to put the landfill so that it doesn't piss too many people off? Because as you saw, it's got kind of a wide sphere of of negative influence there. Um, I think the purple is pollution, probably. Uh, at least I would assume. Uh, and I think we're gonna build our landfill probably. Um, Build a road, maybe. Well, I don't know. 
We don't want to build it here because, you know, we have to consider the flow of traffic. Traffic is huge in this game. So if we build it here, they're going to have to go all the way around like, like that. Although, actually, it is a two-way street, so could work out potentially. But uh, I think for now, we'll, we'll build the landfill out sort of in the industrial area. So we'll build, uh, build a little bit of a road out, uh, you know, maybe like that. And uh, we'll build our landfill out here. As you can see, the green line is sort of where it's going to uh, be effective. So I think out there is a, is a good choice. And uh, we'll go ahead and just... Connect that up real quick, and also landfills, I think, need water still, so we'll do that. And uh, now we have uh, some garbage collection. There's not really much else we can do with that at the moment. We also can build a medical clinic. And I feel like maybe uh, we want that near our residences, of course. Maybe we'll build it, uh, hmm... I don't really have a huge area of influence, but uh, this seems like it might work out okay for us if we build one here. Be able to get most of the area. Actually, you know, maybe maybe we'd be better off. We'll bulldoze a house or two, but uh, I think we'll be better off building it here instead. As you can see, people are quite pleased with that. Yeah, I like that. All right. Let's uh, continue the, uh, the building of our town. Our next milestone is at uh, 800, so we got a little ways to go here. And as you can see, actually, we can click on little trucks. It's importing uh, ore products. In fact, I think we can just, uh, yeah, we just follow this guy. Boom, boom, yeah, and he just dropped uh, stuff to the ice cube factory. I don't know why an ice cube factory needs ore, but, uh... There's two ice cube factories. And a box factory, and another box factory, and, uh, ready to wear limited. Alright, well, that's good to know. But, uh, yeah, it's... The, the simulation in this game is quite impressive, all things considered. You can actually even click on, like, the car, it's just a hatchback. You can see who owns it, where, where it belongs, where the owner is, like, all kinds of interesting stuff. Would be nice. I don't know if you can do this, but I don't know if you can like search for for things. Um, you can't that I know of, but it'd be a nice feature to add maybe someday. But uh, yeah, we have different people. We can actually rename the people if we want. We'll just say this is uh, instead of Winston Gray, this is Winston Churchill. Is that how you spell that? Probably. There we go, Winston Churchill. Um, and uh, he works at the box factory and resides at the spring residence. I don't know why he would do that. But uh, who am I to judge? And everybody uh, has little things that they want to do. Did I just see a donut truck? I sure did. Look at that. The donut van. But the owner is Frank's Fish Stick Factory. That seems suspect to me. <laughs> it's okay, though. So you can see, though, we're making good money. Uh, but we want to keep an eye on our power and water. Yeah, like right now our electricity is actually getting pretty low. Makes me nervous. So what I'm going to do is use some of our extra resources and uh, I'm going to build a coal power plant out here. That's going to keep us in good shape for quite a while, I think. I'll just go ahead and let that keep. And as you can see, yeah, you've been seeing these uh, these chirps pop up. I mean, you know, there are tweets for all intents and purposes, and you know, that's the chirp is a play on the the word tweet, of course. But uh, yeah, people will you know say good job or hey, why is nobody picking up all the dead bodies laying around in town? That kind of thing. So it's uh, it's interesting. There can be some cool stuff that pops up there. But uh, for now, we kind of just need to let things go. And actually, you know, you could use a little bit of uh, residential. A little bit more residential. So I don't know if anybody will be able to build on that one. You know, maybe we'll just uh, make see if we can build a, a store of some kind over there. And now dirt roads are not built for uh, for heavy traffic, so it's almost maybe a bad idea to try to zone too much housing out here um, on the dirt road because people might not be able to uh, get to work and stuff. That can create some real problems. 
Uh, yeah, okay, no, our water's fine. Oh, no, those aren't water symbols. Those are, uh, those are something else. I don't know if anybody's gonna be... Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, what are you? Dino Oil. Looks like we got some kind of maybe gas station popping up over here. That's... That's cool. Winston Price has a sports car. All right, I like it. Something, something umbrella. Is it melts in the rain? Fully biodegradable umbrella in stores. Hashtag hacks. Oh, yeah, that's sign me up. I could use one of those. Especially out here in uh, Seattle. Although people say it rains in Seattle all the time. That's actually not true. It, uh... It does rain sometimes, but most of the time it's really just gray. Um, it's not, you know, f like full out rain like you might expect. A little bit of a drizzle once in a while is probably a little bit more accurate. Let's see. I could build something else right here on the roundabout, but uh, I am, you know, traffic will build up here eventually. Thinking though, we do need some more commercials, so let's. Consider where we might want to build that. We can actually do with maybe a little commercial out, you know, by the industrial district. People might want to eat. Well, they might want to not eat near the landfill, actually. Here, we'll go ahead and uh, fill those in like that. And uh, I think uh, we'll probably want to build some more roads at some point here. So let's go ahead and. Uh, I don't know, let's... We could also zone this up, but I am concerned about, you know, traffic in and out of the city a little bit. What we might want to do is, uh... Build another roundabout, like, over here. And maybe more like... Let's see if I can just rotate this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Build a roundabout, like, right there. And, uh... We'll go ahead and I'm thinking... Do some, uh, do some dirt roads, like, out like this, maybe? That's not quite what I want. Yeah, something like, something like that. And, uh, we'll make, uh, probably, well, we probably wouldn't have dirt roads out by the highway, right? So, we'll think about something like that, maybe. And I think that'll do it. We'll, uh, we'll build some more residences. Out, uh, out this way a little bit. And, uh, the rest of this will be maybe, uh, a little bit of industrial here. And some of these people are gonna have to live near the industrial zone. That's okay. They'll get over it. The land value won't be very good because of the pollution, but such is life. And I guess we could actually probably build... Some more residences maybe inside there if we want to get real crazy. Actually, we can build some residences here, I guess. That's fine. Do need to build more residences just to make sure we can get to the uh, the next population marker. And it does look like uh, we need to deal with water as well. Uh, the best way is probably we'll just build one out like that. And we'll build one out. It's not quite going to fit, is it? All right. All right. We'll build uh, something like this. Yeah, sure. Eh. And a little bit like that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> the, uh, I like the, the water system is, is fine with me. It's sort of a, a I guess, a, a general abstract of, of water system. You don't have to build super individual pipes. You know, you have to be, you don't have to be super finite with it, which I appreciate a lot. Um, same thing with electricity. It just makes it a little bit easier. So now we got uh, we got our worthy village going on here, which has unlocked for us. Uh, we can buy a new plot. We can do districts, policies, get a second loan. We can build a fire department, police department, and some unique buildings. These sort of unlock globally on your uh, save file for all your cities, uh, as I understand it. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and then we can also do industry specializations. This is a little bit of a trap. Because if you don't have educated workers, um, these places generally will end up becoming abandoned, and uh, you don't want that. And uh, yeah, we can build a firehouse and a police station, so we'll build those immediately. Also, when your uh, city 
uh, when you when you become uh, you know or when you when you hit a milestone a population milestone you get a, uh, some grant money which you can then use to build some of the new stuff that you've unlocked I've also unlocked uh, schools very important to have these the question is where do we put them it looks like we have to build two of them because we have some residential people out here who uh, would very much probably like to have their children go to school and uh, We've got some people out this way as well. Most of our population is out here, though, so... Let's go ahead and, uh, we built our clinic, like, right here, so... Let's build our, our first elementary school right there. And, uh... These guys are... They'll have to suck it up for a little bit, I think, but, uh... We also want a firehouse. Probably good to have that in a place where it can get a lot of places, but, yeah, it looks like, uh... You know, due to the fact that we have dirt roads, you know, they can't get quite as far, quite as much coverage as we would, we would normally like. So, it's important to consider. But I think, uh, for now, we'll build a firehouse, uh, over here. That'll, that'll cover most of our city. So, we'll build you, and then, uh, we'll actually go ahead and, uh, take out our first loan. Oops, that's policies. We don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, where are... Oh, no, our loans, right. So, we've got two different loans. These will always be the same, basically. Uh, you know, 20000 60000 200000 at least as far as I know. Uh, however, the bigger loans have bigger interest rates. So, you know, you're losing thirty grand on a $200,000 loan here. Whereas here, we're only paying $1,000 for $20,000. So we'll certainly take this loan, at least. Let's see if we can put a police station in here somewhere. Uh, maybe on, uh, put our police station on this side. Uh, yeah, that's, it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll put the police station there. That's fine. What we can do as well, actually, if we want to, is maybe consider connecting up, uh, this dirt road right here over to here. Now, this could cause some traffic problems for us. This may not be... A wise idea. We can bulldoze that road later if we need to. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. But uh, we have all of our services that we need. We can also do some global... Uh, oops, I didn't want to do that. We can do some global uh, city policies. Uh, power usage, water usage, and uh, smoke detector distribution. These are basically to reduce power, reduce water usage, and decrease chance of fire. Uh, but it costs money, so I'm not going to do that just yet. We're actually losing people somehow. How are, why are we losing people? Uh, I guess probably because I just bulldozed some houses. Um, that's okay. We'll uh, rezone some of that. And I think... Uh, let's see. Yeah, our elementary school is okay. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, we've, still, we've got quite a bit of commercial demand uh, at the moment, so we'll maybe build some commercial out this way. We do have, yeah, we've got water going on out there, so that's fine. And uh, what about unique buildings? Could possibly build a statue of wealth, but it's quite expensive, so uh, I don't think we're going to build that just yet. Natural wonders, huh? Oh, yeah, we can also, uh, now that I think about it, we can build a, uh, can we can buy a new plot, basically, to build on. Now, if we go south, we can get that beachfront property. It's kind of tempting. But I think instead, maybe we'll buy the north plot at some point. You can see the resources uh, that a plot has by clicking on it there, and, uh, yeah, it's got some, some ore and uh, a little bit of trees, but uh, it's quite cheap, but it creates a complication of having to build on the other side of the highway, and uh, we can't really build up there very easily just yet. We have to kind of go around, so we actually might be better off building to the east a bit, and then we can go north and, and west and sort of build that way, and we'll get a little bit of, uh, you know, the river as well, so that's that sounds okay. What... Let me see how much this is. Forty six hundred. Yeah, that's good. Good to good to know. I think actually we probably don't want to buy any new plots just yet. We have plenty of space left to build in at the moment, anyway. 
let's see. I think uh, I'm going to do with a little commercial in there as sort of a buffer. And uh, let's build up another roundabout right here through the middle of town. You can actually connect these. Actually, not one way, though. We want to. Yeah, there we go. And uh, rezone this as commercial. And uh, for these guys, uh, maybe we don't want to build any actual stuff down there because you can see people park and have to stop. So maybe we don't want them to stop necessarily on the roundabouts. We may end up dezoning this area. We'll see. But uh, for now, let's uh, maybe build a little bit more road action uh, out this way. And uh, then we can connect this road up like so, if we actually maybe, yeah, do something like that. That looks all right. And uh, I wonder how that helps our, um, yeah, it sort of helps. Yeah, and that we got that road now, so that's, uh, that's good. We really do need another elementary school, though. So we may end up building one uh, out this way somewhere. In fact, let's, um, Let's go ahead and uh, build out that way a little bit, and then we'll connect that guy up like that. And uh, we'll put another elementary school out that way. And actually, what we'll do is, uh, whoops, what am I doing? That's that's all commercial. My mistake. We want uh, residential at the moment over here. Not that it matters. We're going to remove one of these, basically, by building an elementary school on it, but we'll see. We're getting a decent amount of money. We can probably wait a little bit. And uh, actually, when is our next milestone, I wonder? 1,300? Yeah, we've got a little ways to go there. Ah, these guys probably want some water, though. Here we are, and we're doing, yeah, we're doing fine on water, we're doing fine on electricity for the moment, even at 75% budget. That's all great. Got a nice little uh, town going, though. Everybody parks on the road, though. I don't know why everybody parks on the street. Should, uh, they should have their own parking lots. Oh, he parked in his parking lot. Or she, I guess. That's good. Uh, let's see. No, we still need a little bit more money. Let's wait a sec. Yeah, I know we got new services. Go away. Can't build it yet anyways. And in fact, I guess for now, let's... All right, you got me. We'll, we'll zone all this up as residential for the moment. And, uh... That should give us enough, uh, yeah, enough, uh, places to build for people to come in. We'll go ahead and get our, uh... Our new elementary school built over this way. Elementary schools don't actually uh, service a very large area, nor do they take very many students. So it's important to keep that in mind as you're building stuff. Stuff like high schools and universities service much larger areas, but they're also a little bit more expensive. Well, universities in particular are very expensive, but uh, high schools, eh, they're actually fairly expensive as well. Um... I'm thinking, why don't we, we'll put the elementary school on the corner here. That sounds like a good spot. People should be, yeah, people are thrilled with that. We've got quite a bit of availability at our disposal. We don't have to worry about that for quite a while, I suspect, so. That is all well and good. But I think uh, I think our city's doing pretty well at the moment. We've been playing for a while, so I'll probably call it an episode, uh, Call an episode here. Our vacation was extended. Yeah, this is probably not something you want to do on the internet. <laughs> Tell people where the keys to your house are. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way this is looking. It's a little bit different uh, type of city. Probably keep things, you know, fairly rural, you know, two lane kind of stuff. We may we may change that in the future. It really depends on how uh, how rough things get for us. But, uh, yeah, for the time being, I'm, uh, I'm happy with how things are going. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.